Hey, thanks so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the haves and the have nots review here on YouTube. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry, you've come to the right place. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also check me out on these social media platforms and links in the description below will lead you to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook group, and Facebook page. Once again, thanks for joining in and enjoy the video. All right, have and have not fans. Now the cliffhanger ending that was spoiled thanks to the own social media pages. And I, I need to talk to them about that. The question is, did Benny survive the, I'm guessing, well, Candace did say, shoot, my, uh, my brother was shot. So yeah, he was shot. Number one, he was actually moving his fingers. If you closely look at the, um, you know, his body, it looked like he was barely breathing and stuff like that. So he is barely alive. Tyler Lepley was in Atlanta for filming for season seven. So Benny is alive, y'all. He's not dead. But I hope this slows things down to allow Candace and Hannah to reconcile. It seems like whether Charles is really who he says he is, he does seem to be level-headed and willing to ease the tension. Remember way back, in season four after you know Quincy Jr. was found by Benny and Oscar and Candace showed up at the hospital and you know Candace and Hannah kind of went at it but Oscar kind of calmed down the situation I'm hoping that Charles might be able to find the basically allow this tragedy with Benny to hopefully bring Hannah and Candace closer together I don't know if it's going to happen but I just hope it kind of does because look, this this has gone on too long. I can see why Hannah will be look. Hannah, Candace sent a thug after her own mom. I can definitely understand can uh, Hannah being on defense, but at the same time, look for the sake of your son. Come on now. But yet yeah, Benny is alive. The bigger question is, ooh, is Tony going to show up trying to get a kidney, and then Secret Service stops him from doing it? Um, you know. Will the Malone still go after Benny if he's alive? Was this just a signal or a message? I, I don't know. We'll just have to. And plus, didn't, uh, uh, the uh, crap, what was his name? Don Malone, didn't he say, fine, he could pay back the money, but if he doesn't have the interest, we'll break his legs. So, yeah, that, that, that escalated quickly. So, weird. But, I mean, not a long video. I mean, he's alive, guys. Don't. I mean, kind of like Veronica. Veronica has more lives than an alley full of cats. Veronica survived that fall. Benny is going to be in the hospital again. And the one thing I hope does come out of this, let's say if he's on life support, I hope that if Benny's stuck in the hospital bed for most of the season and then it's revealed like, hey, he can get off life support, I hope the doctor tells Hannah the side the possible side effects and by doing so she will realize oh my god when he got off life support back in season two after the hit and run he has obviously been suffering from those exact side effects that i didn't allow the doctor to tell me back then that explains his irrational behavior that's the only good thing i can see happening from this aside from a possible reconciliation between Hannah and Candace. So with that being said, I think Benny survived. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll talk to you all soon.